Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I want to do this video. Uh, all it's about is just copy, cut, and paste. So Excel has a unique way where you can copy and paste in several different kinds of ways. So I will show you how to do this without using commands and then uh, uh, within five or ten minutes I'm going to start using commands but I'll read out the commands as I'm doing it so copy and pasting is um, something similar to almost any kind of program you can think of you could always control C control V is and control X is usually all universal throughout a bunch of programs. I would say 85% of all programs are going to have that same command, maybe even possibly 90%. So let me t uh, show you what I'm talking about. So I have a document here. And if I would select this part right here, and I would copy. So the way you would probably do it would you would come right here and you would just click on C I mean this thing that says copy right or you could right click and click on copy so or you could hit control C that puts it in a pasteboard and on the computer and from here you can copy it in almost any kind of program okay now how the um, other program receives the data you never know unless if you know the program itself so let's go into a separate sheet so I can show you how to paste something that you copied into a pasteboard so if you click anywhere if I decided to click uh, click here that's where it would copy it you know right or if I click here that's where it would copy it so you have to be condensed where you're gonna select so what you would do is you would either hit paste or right click and hit paste so here's the problem with using the right click you gotta know which one of these icons you're gonna use and the one that you want to use is this one. You see how it's it, it uh, when you um, hover hover around it, right underneath there it says paste, right? So what that means is whatever you copied here is gonna copy where you place it. It copies it exactly. If there's a formula, if there's a um, you know. A value if there's formatting in the text is gonna copy it exactly like you like you see original so let me show you what I'm talking about so let's say if I went in here and changed the back uh, the cell into a yellow I went in here and grab this change this to a Helvetica uh, Helvetica um, bowl okay and then on this one here I um, outline everything so now if I go in here select all this data hit control C go to a different worksheet For here let me delete all of this um, I'm gonna hit control V so now you know how to paste, so I'm just going to do commands. So I'm going to hit control V. Well, here, the problem was that I, uh, okay, hit control C, go here, and then I'm going to hit control V. Okay, it pasted all the values. If there was formulas, it would have copied the formulas. So it did everything that I, uh, I asked it to do okay now 
So let's, that is copy and paste. Okay, so uh, let me delete everything out of there. And let me go all the way back. By the way, I'm hitting Control Z to undo everything. And that's very universal in a lot of programs. Okay, so that's another uh, command that's real, real, real handy. Okay, so so that's copy and paste. Now, we're going to use another key shortcut that's called cut. You, we, we're going to cut text out of a... Uh, uh, out of a, an, uh, a document and bring it and paste it into a different one. So same thing here. Remember when I copy and paste it didn't do nothing to this thing here, right? So watch this. If I hit, uh, I, I was going to use a command, it's control X, but if I go in here and you see I don't have cut in here. Oh yeah, there it is. Excuse me. There's cut. Or right click and there's cut. Right? So let's cut. Now, it's still there, right? It's going to leave it there until you paste it somewhere else. And when you paste it, you're going to have to know what you want to do with the text underneath it and to the right. So for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and right here, I'm going to hit Control V, which is paste, remember? So I hit V. Now, if you notice, it's no longer here. It cut it. And, and actually, you know, uh, it didn't even move the bottom or the right hand side. So that is the difference between copying and pasting it somewhere or cutting it and placing it somewhere else. So we, use, we didn't use commands, so let's use a command this time. So if I click here, and we're going to do the same thing, I want to hit Control X this time, right? You see, it excuse me, it highlighted everything. And remember, look at this, and you'll see that when I paste it, Control V, now it no longer is here. So Control C copy, Control X is for cut, and Control V is for paste. Now, uh, now we're going to get into um, different kinds of pasting and, um, and well, copying is copying. So that's, you know, you, you only have one com uh, thing for copy. So let's hit Control Z and let's bring this document back to the original. Okay, so now we're going to do different kinds of copying and um, and pasting. It's, it, it's, it's called special paste. So watch this. This document has formulas. It has uh, links. Uh, let me see. I, I, since I copy and paste, uh, since I, uh, here, let, let, let me see if this, so look, if I click here, you see how it, cre it, it opened up this link? Because I have a link to that zip code. So I'm here in Dallas and I wanted to link it to the address that you see there. So you see right here, uh, 2802 Campbell. So that's called a link. Now I want to go and change um, a few more things so you, you know, to. Uh, to change um, uh, so you can see what we're doing okay so let me let me change some other colors here we'll change that to red okay now whenever I 
selected that stuff, I formatted that text to, to be red. I formatted this cell to be yellow. I formatted this text to be red. I formatted that cell for anything that goes in here that for it to be Helvetica 10 bow. Okay, so those are formatting your cells. Now you also have a same thing here. Like if I would click here, you see how it puts Monday, September 27, 2001. If all I got to put is today's date is 11 slash 17, watch what it's going to do for me. It put today's Wednesday, November the 17th, because I formatted that. All of these columns are pre-formatted. So anytime I put anything in this uh, in any one of the columns, they all act the same. We, those are pre-formatted uh, cells. Now, let's talk about formulas. And the only, uh, you know, uh, this is not a teaching about formulas and cells, but I want to explain to you so that you understand what's going on. So, right now, I have formulas here. And those formulas... What I'm telling this, this cell, this is what I told it. I want whatever number I put here, I want you to multiply 0.6 because this is my take home. Then they give me an additional six, uh, a dollar of photo. So there was 60 photos and this was my total take home, right? So those formulas, if I change that to $1,000, look at all those numbers that are going to change. Okay. My take home now is $660 because I have formulated these cells to do what I want them to do. So, keeping that in mind, now we're going to do some copying and pasting. And this are gonna call, or these things are going to be called special paste. Okay? So, you learn copy, cut, and paste. Now you're going to uh, learn special pace. One thing I might want to show you before we get into all that, because that is, uh, by the end of the lesson, you might have a headache by the time this is said and done. Um, so let, let, let me, let me I want to jump into something that I want to show you in addition to uh, what you're going to learn is paste, paste value, paste value and number formatting, formulas, pasting formulas, pasting uh, transpose and uh, pasting links, skipping blanks and transpose paste, okay, or and also pasting pictures. So before we get into all of that, I want to show you some pretty cool things that I uh, I use all the time. Okay, so and I don't I don't want to forget about that because I I, uh, I teach on the whim. I don't I don't prepare like probably most people. They probably go and prepare on their training. So check this out. Right now, my data is spread out into rows. These are columns. Let's say, and whenever you're printing, so if I went and printed uh, this document and I hit Control P, it would take, uh, here, let me see, less, uh, no scaling, uh, So print active sheet. So it would take 18, 18 uh, pages to print this, right? That can be reduced down considerably. And let, let, let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to show you a few of the... Uh, <clears throat> 
columns and rows. So right now, if you let's look at this client here. By the way, these are f fake clients, fake addresses, because uh, I do keep, uh, you know, I'm, con you know, I want to make sure that all the co uh, customers are protected. So let's say this was a client. This is all the data that I have to know prior to going and talking to the individual about his claim. So it can get cumbersome to read it in this format. Now I'm going to select definitely the first one because that tells me what this is. In other words, this is the city, this is the address, this is additional names that I uh, acquired uh, during our conversation about the claim. Okay, so or it could be it don't have to be about claims it could be about anything so I am going to copy and paste those um, four well actually it's only two clients because the first one is me and I use that so that when I'm I, I, I'm not even gonna explain why I put my name in there but let, let, let me show you what I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna control C copy right I'm gonna go to this sheet right here and the next thing we were going to talk about is special paste so you can click here and go to special or paste special you can right click and go to special paste or you can click here hit um, control alt V and then it comes up with this paste special now to you this might be a little harder at the beginning because you know you have to uh, let, let, let's let's do it a, a certain way for for right now let's do the easy way to me that's easy but let's do an easy way if we go into paste go to special paste this time I'm going to tell it to transpose. If you want to go from vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical, it doesn't matter. This is how you would do it. You would transpose it. We're selecting everything. It's going to copy everything, formulas, values, uh, you know, links, formats. Uh, there's pictures in there. It's going to bring it in. Okay. So we hit OK. Remember, this used to be horizontal. Now I'm going to go in and make my columns all even. So here's the insured. Remember, this is me. The first one would be Hector 1, then the next one is Hector 2. Here's the number, the telephone number. Okay, so here's the telephone number for claim number blah 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 zero six Hector Mendoza or and here's the claim number for uh, blah 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 371 whatever I put in there and if I had additional names then on this one didn't have one I put one here for uh, Cam, uh, Karen so I reversed the um, the the way that it was being put into Excel. In addition, what it did in the fly, it also, if you click here, you see this formula? This formula wasn't uh, equal C44 plus C43 in the previous one because this was a totally different formula, but it translated it. So that's real, real cool about this thing. And it kept all the values of every one of the cells. Okay? Like, you know, this was red, this was uh, yellow. Each, each cell that you see is independent to itself. Uh, you know, remember I changed this to blue. Oops. And not, but, but another thing, you see, I clicked on it and it opened up that link because it copied the links okay so 
so now I'm going to hit control Z okay now if I win hit in here this time I'm going to do the same thing right uh, I'm going to go to special links this time I'm going to use different kind of formatting okay I'm going to uh, Actually, you know what? I'm jumping the gun. Let's not even talk about that. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, this has to be taught in a systematic uh, way. So that is one. Um, that's how you do your transpose. And I'm telling you guys, I'm 61 years old. I've been using this, and I love the heck out of it. You know, if you are like me that likes to keep things organized, uh, you can easily copy and paste print something print it go and, and then have it in front of you when you talk to the insured or whatever if you're in the construction business if you're in the medical business if you're uh, working for a restaurant and you have uh, Excel files for all your employees which will do good which will do bad which one broke a bunch of dishes you know if you have uh, Excel documents then this is this is real real helpful now now I'm going to talk about blank, skip blank, okay? This thing right here. It's not what you think. And let me, let me show you what skip blank is. So a few years ago, I thought that skip blank was, for instance, you see how I have a space in between them? Because I separated this week from this week from this week and so on. Let's let's pretend that I, I I'm gonna go in here and uh, uh, insert here here g g g give give me a second I need to hit Control C okay so I'm gonna insert um, here here one second here I'm gonna insert a line okay here and I'm going to insert a line here okay so this is what I thought that that was I thought that I could go in here copy this information and remember I got a blank space here I got a blank space here and a blank space here I thought I could control C for copy go into a different sheet go here hit um, right click or here I, I like commands so control alt V and click here and I thought it was gonna remove those um, those blank spaces like my you see that all that's blank and that's blank and that's blank so that's not what this is about what this is about is um, here. You know what? Uh, let me see. I I did have a extra sheet that I give me give me one second here. Okay, no big deal. Uh, let me see. Maybe. Yeah, no big deal. So let, 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 let me show you what that is. Okay, so basically, basically, let, let, let me put um, car one and and I'll put car one through 14. Okay, and let's say that car one I was going to sell for uh, $1,000. Okay, and then the rest of the cars uh, here let's say 1,000 2,000 so car number 14 was worth uh, 14,000 okay and so on and um, so this is my inventory of my cars in, in my car lot uh, car number one is worth a thousand dollars car number two two thousand dollars or let's say this were categories of like 
Category one is a Chevrolet, and this is a Ford, and uh, a Ford Bronco. This is a Ford F one fifty. So, the I started selling them at this price, but as time went on, I I, did, I, uh, I recognized that car number two I could actually sell for three thousand dollars, right? And then car number six. I could actually sell for seven hundred dollars, and let's say number twelve, um, number twelve, I could actually sell for thirteen hundred dollars. Okay, so I want to show you what delete uh, that skip blank means. Okay, so. I'm going to turn each one of these cells yellow. So basically, not basically, but <laughs> let's say I had a, a, a column of rows here, which I do, and I want to paste this column into here. Any change that I added to the original column I put it here. I added it to it. Here, I didn't do nothing here. I didn't do nothing here. Didn't do nothing here because the at my average, that's all I could get for that car was a thousand dollars, and and for this one is three thousand and so on. But this two thousand dollar one, this six hundred dollar one, and this twelve hundred dollars, I actually could sell it for a hundred dollars. But I want to update my list. So when I give this list to my salesmen, they're like. Okay, yeah, man. You know, of course he's going. First, he's going to try to sell it for five thousand dollars, and then he eventually he knows that I'll take up to three thousand dollars. So, this is where that that uh, special uh, space uh, uh, skip blank comes in. I'm going to select this. I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to click here on my first sale. I'm going to. Uh, Shift Alt V, which I've already showed you how to do, you know, the pull downs. This time I'm going to tell it skip blanks. So I'm going to click here, hit OK, and watch what happened. You see how where it's white, it changed only where there were no blank cells. So that's what that is. Now we got, remember it used to be 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and so on. Now it's 1,000, 3,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 7,000, 7,000. And then down here you got 10,000, 11,000, 13,000. Okay? And 13,000. So that is what that means. So if you're looking at this and you, you're looking at this uh, different ki kind of pasting, don't think that is going to delete those spaces. Anyway, so now we're going to get into additional special paste. Okay, so, uh, and all this is real, real easy. If Once you start using Excel, uh, this gets real, real easy. I've been doing this for a while, so uh, to me, this is like typing. Okay, now, so you remember we talked about formulas and all kinds of things. Now remember, when I talk about this special kinds of pasting, it doesn't just necessarily mean for Excel. Let's say I'm copying something from Word. Let's say I'm copying something from, um, from well, especially Word, because these things, they coincide with each other. It, they're all uh, interact with each other, the same kind of pasting. So there's there's a thing called special paste, paste, special value paste, special value and uh, number formatting, and blah blah blah. So and let me now I'll show you real quick what all that means. Now I'm gonna start here. Same thing. I'm just gonna drag three of them. Remember, we could do them all, but this just makes it real easy for me to explain the stuff. I'm gonna hit Control C for copy. Remember. I'm going to come down here. The first, we already know what paste is. It's going to copy everything accordingly. Okay, 
So, uh, so now, I think the very first one I think is uh, value paste under special form uh, uh, pasting. So, Control Alt. Let's do it this way. It's it's uh, you'll understand it better. Let's click here, and remember we already did the paste. This one here is called uh, formulas. So if I click on formulas, paste formulas, it copied. It copied the formulas but it did not copy the formatting okay and um, so what that means is you know um, you see right here this is a formula I told Excel that I want AR8 plus AQ8 so I want it to add this two and this two together. And this one has a formula that I want uh, Excel to multiply this times this. And uh, so it copied that formula. But one thing it did not do. So if you look at the original, look right here. You see under inspection date, you see how it says Thursday, October 7, 2021. And what I pasted so remember this is J so if I go here and go to J look at what J J is uh, it's just numbers why because it did not copy the format of the cell all it did was copy formulas that's all you told it and it copied everything else but if a cell had a formula, it would have not copied it into here. Okay, so let's forget about that one now. And let's write uh, Shift Alt V. Oh uh, no, I keep on forgetting. This is too complicated. Uh, I, it, if you if you if you were doing uh, Excel for a long time, then I would do it that way. For me, it's real simple. But uh, usually, it's a lot easier when you're showing people photos. Uh, so what I'm talking about is this kind of images. So remember, we just did formulas. Now the next one is formulas and number formatting. Okay. So this one is similar to that one. So I'll skip that one. Uh, keep source formatting. Uh, what this one does, it copies uh, the formulas and uh, it okay so let, let me how, how I explain okay so it looks like it's there but it's not going to copy the, the 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 formatting so let me show you in other words so if I go down here remember right in here well it did copy the formulas I take that back here let me see uh, and it copied that so I guess I didn't understand that one, so let's uh, let, let's try another form, uh, format. Okay, so the next one that I want to talk to you about is no borders. So let's say that you had this this thing, and you went in there, and this thing had uh, borders. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but now, right in here, th this ones have borders and the rest of them don't. You can see it right in here, right? So I'm gonna start from here. Oh, here, just that much right there. Because this is the only areas that I put borders in. Okay, I'm gonna hit Control-C. I'm gonna go to the next sheet. I'm gonna copy this everything in this thing except borders was it uh, where was it at um, can't remember let me see uh, borders is here let me so we have keep frame no borders right here so 
if I click here, now, whatever I paste it, remember, here, let me expand everything. There's no borders. And some of this stuff had borders here. You see? You can see borders right in, in this area. Hopefully, when... Uh, hopefully, I don't lose too much... Uh, uh, when this thing is recorded, hopefully, you can see the borders. But that's what that is. So... Uh, let's go here and undo everything. Okay, so now if I right, cl uh, yeah, right click or go up there, and let's see what other cool uh, kind of paste options we have. Values. Um, we talked about that one. Okay, so this is formatting. Okay, so, so watch this. I'm going to copy this right here. Okay, hit Control C. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to pretend this is a different document. Look at each one of these columns. They all are equally this, the same size right in addition so if I click here and I put 4 slash 3 look you see the format that it gave me it's not what I want so what I'm gonna do let's say I like this row though and when I type on it I want it to make it type just the way we see it up here so let me go uh, okay so I'm gonna click on any one of those rows I want to hit control C just hit sheet one I'm gonna right click here go to my special formatting and we are gonna put um, formatting okay so I'll click on formatting Nothing happened, right? Yes, it did. It did do something. So if I go to, uh, you see right here, inspection J, look at the format of J. I'll go to sheet one, I go to J, and I type today's date for uh, 11 slash 17. Oh, okay. No, I, 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 I made a mistake here, but it'll do it here. Eleven seventeen. See how it? I'm glad. I'm glad I made that mistake because I selected this line. I told it to copy that into this particular line. Now, anywhere else that I type seven slash uh, July the fourth. Well, it's gonna say July the fourth. It's not gonna put this year. The date and everything so now let's select everything delete it now I want to show you how you can make everything every one of these lines with that same format so uh, I love making mistakes like this so that I can show you additional cool options so I'm gonna go in here so um, this time I want to copy all of the formulas for every one of those columns by hitting control C I'm gonna to go to sheet one right this time you see this little diamond right here this uh, it's a half of a square but it's like a diamond I want to click there and that selects the whole sheet okay uh, I'm gonna right click I'm gonna do the special paste and then I'm gonna click on f f uh, formatting again it doesn't look like it did nothing right but it did and so if I go to J again right anywhere that I click for 11 look in in addition 
it expands that uh, that format for me. It makes it bigger to fit. Let's see it right here. It copied all the formats. Like here, let's say 12 p.m. All I gotta do is type one two space p, and look what it does. Because I told it I wanted that format when I type there in that area. Equally, so if I go into my um, uh, let's go to here here um, let, let's do something I am going to split the screen I'm gonna put this one on this side okay and oh actually this sheet is not a different document so th this is what I was gonna actually do watch this and there's some cool commands you see how I split those two now watch this I can go in here and you see how everything scooted over to the left look at this I, I go this way and this document scoots over to the right but um, so that's what I, I, I was gonna use that to show you uh, how the formats work since they're in two different uh, uh, formats so we have um, this formula here no, 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 that's not a formula. This is a formula, and this is a formula. So we'll look at AQ and AS. So we go to AQ uh, right here. It didn't copy the formula, but um, oh yeah, 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 that's right. Because I didn't tell it to copy the formula. Uh, I told it to copy the um, uh, cell um, formatting. I, not the not the formulas, just the cell formatting. Okay, so let's move over to more additional items. Okay, so let's hit Control A. Let's delete this, and let's say if I Okay, so if I go in here and cop, select some some additional stuff, hit Control C, click here, go into my special paste option, um, values. Uh, let me. I'm, I'm just showing you the the cool ones. Paste link. Here's a good one. Okay, so. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to go in and split this document like I was going to show you earlier. So, I'm going to take the left-hand side here. I'm going to create me a new document. A new document. I'm going to split it on this right side so that you can see it change accordingly. I'm going to go in here and um, copy and paste this into here okay but this time I am gonna go in here and um, right here I am going to change uh, this to yes this to no correct okay so if I copy this I hit control C I go up here uh, and I I'm just gonna put it anywhere I'm just gonna click here and hit control V oh no 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 excuse me I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go to special paste this time I'm gonna tell it paste link so this stuff doesn't it, it's not what it sounds like because it sounds like you're gonna paste a link like uh, like the one that I was showing you earlier linking to the uh, uh, to Google Maps this is different 
Okay, so first of all, I'm going to save this particular document and I'm just going to save it to the desktop and I'll delete it right after this, uh, uh, you know, training thing I got going on. So watch. <clears throat> I'm going to go in here and I'm going to highlight this so that you can see uh, the transformation of it. Okay, and I'll make it bold and I'm going to uh, change the text to um, Helvetica. Hello? Okay, now, now it's easy to see, right? So I'm gonna, you know, so uh, I gotta find it down here now. Here it is, okay, so yes. Remember, this is a different document. This is book two, and this is uh, the pro that uh, document that I was using to train. Now, if I go in here, you see where it says yes? It says yes right here, remember, I don't even have to have this document open to do this. I'm going to do it both ways, when it's open and when it's closed. So if I click here and I tell it uh, wrong, see, and I go in here and you see where it says no, I'm going to change, uh, I'm going to change my color, uh, you know, um, my fill to orange okay and I'll make it bold okay so you see it's not changing down here but the only thing is gonna change is if I add like let's say I put four thousand dollars you see it changes it Whatever I do to this document is going to change it to this document. So now what I'm going to do so that, uh, that you understand what this thing does. This document doesn't have to be open. Remember, I saved this to the desktop. I'm going to control S to save it. And then I'm going to hit Alt 4 and that's going to close that document. Okay. Uh, now let's go to the desktop. This is where I have it. Now, okay. And now let's go ahead and fill this whole thing complete. I mean, you know, fill the whole uh, uh, window. All these commands that you're seeing me do, I I teach all everything that I'm doing. I got uh, 140 something videos that show a lot of different things. Okay, so remember, the other one says wrong, 4,000 and correct. I'm gonna. I, I decided to let's say put four thousand here. Oops, four here. Uh, five thousand and here. Oh yeah, there's some commands. I just uh, six thousand dollars. Okay, and. Uh, Here, I don't have a dollar sign on that one. That's why it flushed to the left. Okay. Oops. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, whoa, this is not correct. And so there must be something wrong with this one. Okay, so whatever I, I'm doing here is going to change on the other one. You see how how uh, did this one's here say... Uh, <coughs> You know, it says 4,000, 5,000. I'm trying to figure out why they look different. I see exactly why. Okay, there you go. Now, this one says 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. Now, I'm going to open up that other document. Remember, I closed it. It's closed. And it's it, it had a it had different words in it, so I'm gonna go to my desktop. I'm gonna open up the document, and right there it changed. Now remember, I put those dollar signs on this on that other one, but 
it did not copy the do dollar sign because that's kind of like uh, formatting a cell when you add a uh, either uh, you know a dollar sign a percentage uh, you know all you know but it did change the text to four thousand five thousand and six thousand okay guys I could probably go all day long on this uh, I think I, oh no no I, I got man I gotta show you this other stuff too Would, give me another um, five more minutes okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna close this I don't need to save it so now one thing we didn't talk about is for instance I'm just gonna copy a small little section okay if I hit control C gonna go to sheet one and I'm gonna go back to special you know to your uh, special paste oh, I keep on doing this this kind I, I really need to show you the, the how y'all would actually use it um, so we're gonna you see right here where it says picture we're gonna click on that now to you that doesn't look like a picture but it is a picture and let me show you how why I can't double click in here like I could any cell and change the text okay okay no matter what I do it's a picture so you know you know if you double click it's gonna give you your different kinds of picture options okay so let me cut uh, let me cut this and paste it down here so you can see it better it's not gonna do it okay so let's hit control Z okay so it's a picture and any characteristics that you can change on a picture you're gonna change it here you can change it right here so like let's say you want it to look like that okay because it's a picture the only thing that's kind of weird about this even though it's a picture it's not rasterizing it. I don't know if y'all know the difference between a vector base uh, object and a rasterized image. Even though it's a photograph and I enlarge this no matter what size I want, it does not rasterize. It's not, you know, it still looks as sharp as it does if I went in and enlarged this text into, let's say, uh, 150 point text. And you enlarge that text, you see, it's not rasterized. So that's one thing I really have never figured out how, how it's a photo, but it doesn't get rasterized. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, I know I talk a lot. <laughs> but if you like it, hey, subscribe to me. Put a thumbs up. And I'll keep on putting a bunch of these videos. L look how much I talked about just on one. Remember, uh, well, if you've seen some of my videos, you know that these are tabs and tabs. Uh, you know, you have different uh, groups of like the clipboard this is all has to do with this uh, group here's another group here's another group so you see all these tabs 99 point I probably know but 99.8 percent of any one of these tabs and I'm gonna teach what each one of these things do thank you again for watching my video